JBSA. It's time for your questions. Ask away. Hey everyone, welcome to our second edition of Ask Away JBSA. My name's Second Lieutenant Emma McHenry, and I'm with the 502nd Public Affairs. Today, I'm with Mr. Tony Soa, and we're going to be talking about the HVAC systems on Joint Base San Antonio. Hi, I'm Tony Soa. We're here in the HVAC shop. This is where all the work takes place in Joint Base San Antonio, so ask away. Awesome. So what can you tell us about some of the AC HVAC units that we have on our base? Okay. So Joint Base San Antonio has a blend of HVAC systems, old technology and new technology systems that we work on. Perfect. What are some of the challenges and considerations with our older units while they're working in the summer months? Okay, so the biggest challenge is many systems across the bases are 20 to 25 years old. So the key is to have readily parts available in our bench stock area so that we can maneuver and react when these systems fail. Have there been any improvements or future plans for implementation to help our older units continue to operate to the best of their abilities? Yes. So we continue NCE across the board to try and prepare and plan for the future. So we're always ordering new units. It just takes a little bit more time to get those units on base. So yes, we're always trying to use PMs at night to clean the units, just keep these units running while these new units are coming in. So keeping all of that in mind, are there any ways that those of us who work and live on base can supplement those cooling processes? Yes, we can use fans in our, in our offices. We can raise temperatures. A lot of the buildings are old. They're not insulated well, so it's hard to maintain that cooling. So anything we can do with fans and, and raising, our temperatures in, or raising our temperature set points is a good idea. So this is one of the shops that your team works in, but what's some of the work that you and your team do when you're out in the field? The normal process is that we get emergency calls and we run and we go to the job. Many times the guys are having to bring back the units here, maybe take a unit that's ready and go back and put it in and then work later to build that unit back and just create that cycle and keep it going. That's always been the normal process. Um, I do want to say a few words about the team and it's, it's, it's men that are selfless and are giving each day and coming to work to help all of us that drive through those gates, whether it's the child care center folks, the, the wounded warriors at Liberty Barracks. We just, we just, we're selfless and we care about you and want to help you. Thank you, Mr. Soa, for your time today and for showing us around your shop. To close out this edition of Ask Away JBSA, we're going to turn it over to Brigadier General Russell Driggers. Howdy, Team JBSA. It's no secret that we've been breaking heat records here in Texas. Uh, I think, what are we on, like three straight weeks of triple digit temperatures uh, right now? Uh, of course, we all want to feel comfortable in our workplaces and our homes. Our civil engineering team, from the planners to the dispatchers to our AC technicians, are working tirelessly to maintain the AC units across the whole of JBSA. And as you can imagine, this is no small task. And I got to tell you, I'm very proud of the work they're doing there. They're out there on the roofs, in the mechanical closets, and in many other spaces that are totally exposed to this Texas heat to get after the challenge. Now, as mentioned earlier by our CE team, we do encourage you please use fans or other methods to supplement your cooling. And please reach out to CE if your AC is experiencing problems. Here below on the screen are the numbers that you can call. I ask for your patience though as the technicians do their magic. Sometimes, the fact is the magic might take some time. Now, it is really important that we get this right. And so we have activated the 502nd CEG's Unit Control Center. The UCC is a command and control element that's focused on managing HVAC issues during this record hot summer. So they'll take in your work orders and they'll manage them to get after them as efficiently as they can. Now, I'm really proud of the work our team has been doing so far. But we've got a few more weeks of this heat and, it's, and we'll continue to stay engaged to serve our teammates and families across JBSA. But like everything at JBSA, this is a team sport. And we appreciate your help, we appreciate your understanding, and we appreciate your patience as we work to take care of the beast. And as always, Joint Base San Antonio, check the link below to ask away JBSA.